Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah. Woo! Back again. That's right. Luda. <laughs> Feel this. this. gets meaner and meaner each time, baby. <laughs> Feeling real good, too. Highlight what up, Uncle Face? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm a bull in this industry, man. Hey there everyone, I'm going to explain when you insert a USB flash drive into an Xbox 360. Uh, this is an update which came out on the uh, 6th of April 2010, today it's the 7th of April 2010. I did make a video and I was trying to cut it up a bit but it's just too long and too hard to explain through doing that. Basically what happens is when you, in, when you insert a USB flash drive you will be given the option to put a maximum of 16 gigabytes into a flash drive. Be warned. Whatever you have in the flash drive, no matter if it's probably 32 gig or 120 gig or whatever, all the things on that will be formatted. Therefore, I have I had a um, 8 gigabyte um, flash drive and um, pen drive, and uh, I had like 20 megabytes of stuff over there or 200 megabytes even. And when I had to put it in the uh, Xbox, it formatted the whole of it and used it for its uh, for itself so be warned in case you have an external hard drive I wouldn't go ahead and do that maybe you can allocate space to it but I'm not sure so just take the safe way out and just be sure you've uh, backed up everything on your pen drive basically what happened is once you put this into your Xbox it will format everything that is on your uh, on your um, pen drive once it's formatted everything it will have an empty pen drive However, it will change probably the the, the way it's uh, the way you can save stuff on it. Meaning you can only put Xbox 360 stuff on it. Therefore, when I did format it and then I did put an empty pen drive whilst it's being formatted from the Xbox 360 into my computer, I could no longer put any uh, files onto the pen drive. I had like uh, 20 megabytes or something like that. I could put a folder which was a couple of kilobytes. But I couldn't put like any proper like movies or whatever. I couldn't use the full eight gigabytes over there. So therefore, when you do format it, you cannot use it at the same time. You can't use both. However, if you do allocate like out of the eight gigabytes I've got here, if I allocated only eight gigabytes out of the uh, four gigabytes out of the total eight gigabytes that I've got, I could still use four gigabytes for computer and four gigabytes for the Xbox. If you see where I'm getting at. If you don't understand, just please, if you don't understand anything, anything I'm saying, please post in the comments below and ask me questions. Um, right, so basically after you've done that, um, you can put anything on it. Games, um, saves, um, gamer pictures, themes, you name it. I did a test and I, 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 I wondered if I could put 1943, which is a solely arcade game, onto the pen drive and then later on play it and the way I try to test this now I'm, you can correct me if I'm wrong but basically I put in the uh, pen drive copied it from my hard drive copied 1943 from my hard drive my 120 gigabyte hard drive on the Xbox 360 then removed my 120 gigabyte hard drive the big one uh, which comes with Xbox 360 and only had this acting as my hard drive therefore I only had 1943 on this hard drive and that is it I put that in, recovered my game tag, gamer tag, which saved again on this, and then played uh, an online match on 1943 with only this attached. No hard drive, only this. You can correct me if I'm wrong. I could be wrong that you you can't play it, but uh, you can't play. You can play, sorry, um, without a hard drive anyway. I'm not sure. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I I've never witnessed that, and I think it's because I could save it on this so I saved it on this which te theoretically means I could save 1943 on this give it to my friend and he could play as well now I don't know how it works because I had to buy it through my account and the fact that I recovered my gamer uh, gamer tag it may be um, acknowledged that I already had the game I have no idea uh, I, I can't prove it because I do not have another Xbox or a friend nearby with an Xbox 360 so please correct me if I'm wrong but from my experience I removed the hard drive played 1943 only with my pen drive um, recover my game tag and pl could play the full amount using only this basically so that was really cool 
Um, however, after that, when I did remove this and formatted this so that I could put it back onto computer, um, use the full the full capacity of eight gigabytes for a computer, I realized I couldn't play 1943 anymore because it would say for some reason my Xbox Live account was not uh, in membership or whatever. At that point, I thought, hmm, I probably have to recover it again. Although my hard drive had picked up my profile, I could still play Bad Company 2, but I couldn't play 1943. Therefore, you have to re-recover it, if that makes sense, um, on your hard drive, and then you get all the full accessibility or whatever you had on your hard drive. So therefore, it's just acting as, like, imagine you had two hard drives. Um, that's basically the way to explain it. So, um... I think that's about it. That's all that covers it. So you can put games on this and play it without your main hard drive, which is pretty cool. Um, what makes me think is, like, can I copy anything on a 16GB hard drive, which is quite a large amount, put it to my friend's Xbox and play? Please post it in the comments below because I'm not quite sure. Although I did that test with my own Xbox, but I'm not sure if it saves it on the Xbox or the fact that it's my own gamer tag so it remembers what to do. I'm not sure. Just please um, tell me um, if you guys have any more experiences or any more knowledge about this subject. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Um, I can't think of anything else uh, that I haven't covered. Um, the, 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 the process is pretty straightforward. Uh, there's nothing to it basically, it's just pretty simple, you just plug it in, go to your memory um, of settings in uh, the system settings on your main dashboard um, and from there you'll see that you've got a pen drive and you can allocate space to it and you can add things and it's as simple as that. So I've made it as simple as possible um, and it's great for having extra space so I can have instead of, you know, for people which have 20 gigabyte hard drives, you know, they can have a, they could have by coincidence, a 16 gigabyte hard drive that they don't use, and there you go. That's an extra 16 gigabytes for free. This go, this goes straight into your forward ports, the two forward ports on your Xbox 360, um, and that's about it. I mean, I don't think I, I haven't covered anything. I did make a video again uh, showing this. If you guys want me to uh, post that video, the, it's quite long. Uh, post a video and whatever I did, please do. Um, say so and I will upload it within I don't know a couple of hours so um, thank you very much uh, please do um, a like <laughs> um, and uh, comment please do comment and tell me about your experiences and please do subscribe which is now up here not wherever it is right thanks a lot guys totally dubbed out I uh, hope you've enjoyed the update as much as any other person has thank you very much goodbye